want to light the candle um, for spreading the teachings of science of mind in the world and also to light the candle for someone that has truly been doing this for 35 years wholeheartedly, um, fully and completely. So we're lighting the candle for um, this teaching, the science of mind, its founder. And uh, what I also know is Petra had just come on to the planet. She had just said that sacred yes. When um, Reverend Dr. Ernest Holmes gave his last quote sermon at Asilomar. And it's entitled Sermon by the Sea. Petra hadn't even begun to start to form words. And yet I know that she already said yes to being one of the people that Dr. Ernest Holmes spoke of on that profound day. So I read this in honor of the science of mind and who Reverend Dr. Petra Weldis is. Find me one person who is for something and against nothing. Who is redeemed enough not to condemn others out of the burden of her soul. And I will find another savior, another Jesus, and an exalted human being. Find me one person who no longer has any fear of the universe or of God or of humankind or of anything else, and you will have brought to me someone in whose presence we may sit. And fear shall vanish as clouds before the sunlight. Find me someone who has redeemed her own soul, and she shall become my redeemer. Find me someone who has given all that she has in love, without morbidity, and I will have found the lover of my soul. Is not this true? Why? Because she will have revealed to me the nature of God and proved to me the possibility of all human souls. Find me one person who can get her own littleness out of the way, and she shall reveal to me the immeasurable magnitude of the universe in which I live. Find me one person who communes with cause and effect, and in the evening, the evening star will sing to her, and the darkness will turn to light. Find me someone who is no longer sad, whose memory has been redeemed from morbidity, and I shall hear laughter. Find me someone whose song is really celestial, because it is the outburst of the cosmic urge to sing, and I shall hear the music of the spheres. Find me one person who no longer doubts, no longer wavers, but not one who, with a proclamation of superiority, says, Look at me. I have arrived. I will not listen to that. Only that which reveals me to myself can be a message to me. Only that which gives me back to myself can save me. Only that which leads me to the God within myself can reveal God. And only that person can do it to whom the vision has come through her own efforts, her own efforts, through the gift of God. Of course, the grace of God abounds by divine givingness. God has forever hung itself upon the cross of humankind's indifference. God has forever, but without suffering, given itself, but we have not received the gift. Find me one person who knows how to talk to God, reality, and I shall walk with her through the woods. And everything that seems inanimate will respond. The leaves of the trees will clap their hands. The grass will grow soft under her. This is what science of mind stands for. 
It is not a new dogmatism. It is not a new authority generated from a new alleged revelation of the God who never revealed anything to anybody as such, else she could not have revealed all things to all people. There is no special dispensation of providence, but there is, there is a specialized dispensation to that which the great and good and wise and just have known, even though they knew it intuitively. And so taking these adapted words, rearranging them slightly, this is what Science of Mind stands for. That we find the God within each of us. And to know that God so intimately, that God that lies within each of us, we know it so intimately that we move from that place. And so I know that in this moment, this new thought, this science of mind, this science of mysticism, this science of the thing itself, this science of meditation, this science of how this life works, is taken up by millions upon millions upon millions of individualized expressions of this life, and they use it, and they use it for such good as Peter Weldis has done so for 35 years, and so it is. Yes. So it is. Thank you.